Hello again. <sighs> Sorry for being out of breath. What I'm doing is there's trees, I have big trees that I cut down that that machine can't take out. So what I'm doing is, is I'm grabbing them by the trunk and dragging them out and stacking them up at angles in piles like this. The reason I'm stacking them up at angles is so that we can pull up, tie a rope to it and drive straight on out with them and take them towards the house so I can cut them up for firewood um, instead of leaving them here making a mess. So what has been happening is it's just been so hard to walk through all this thick stuff carrying these big trees out. There's vines, there's little saplings and everything and I was tripping over it and just killing my knee. So his time schedule had changed and he had the equipment here so he decided to come and uh, start clearing it out today without notice of course. And uh, so what I did, I think it was last Saturday, um, time gets by, I don't remember so well. I came up here and cut a bunch of trees and I stacked them up here, here, and here. And today I went in and I've been, since I, my other recording that you saw before this, hopefully, I drug, drug these guys out here and piled these up. And uh, again, they're at an angle so that when I take my truck up the top of the hill and come down, I can put a rope on it and just drive on through with it and uh, sled them on out of here when the ground's frozen. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I gotta get the rest of these out. He's down here working farther down so that I don't have to rush in front of him to get these trees out before he runs the machine through. And uh, we're turning this all into farmland uh, for several reasons. One, it's already partially cleared. If they didn't let this stuff grow up, it would have been just as clear as this area right here is and up over there where most of the stakes are, um, and we could have farmed it, but over the years they just let it grow and, and stuff. And that's why we're putting the fence at the top of the hill so the ATVers don't come through here when we have a, a cash crop and ruin our cash crop and we don't uh, make any money for all the efforts. So uh, hopefully this will be done today. Um, I'm getting them to go through it twice because I'm not happy with how it's cutting it up. And he doesn't have the volume turned up on that thing. It can really rip through things, and he's just not doing it. He's got got it turned down low and and stuff, and just barely going through it. So, but I guess I can't complain because it is free because I let him have access to the back of the property to get over on the west side to clear it out for the uh, snowmobile trail. So, uh, I got to get back to work. I just thought I'd take a moment to do this while I could. And uh, we'll talk at you later. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.